Yo, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Now, I'm completely calm. I don't know about you guys, but I am completely calm. I'm very content right now. Nah, but in all seriousness, NBA 2K14, 2K Sports, Ronnie 2K, LD2K, they've all released the current gen features that have been unveiled. Now, this is the thing about, you know, current gen and the next gen problem. Everything that they list here, they put Xbox 360, PS3, PC, like they put they put this stuff, you know, only. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down and I'm going to go over some of these features with you guys. Now, they do have the muzzle on me. I can't say specific things, but I can give you guys, you know, a little, little, just a little something. So, first things first. They say NBA 2K14 with current generation platforms, Xbox 360, PS3, and PC available October 1st. Now, moving on. The highlight features is Cruise. That, are, that They just made an announcement about it today. I made my video on it. If you haven't seen it, you definitely want to check it out. I keep it 100 all the time. I do not try to lie to y'all at all. I'm not sugarcoating anything. So, they said that you are able to create a logo. You're able to go in 5 on 5 battles with other crews with a leaderboard and stats. They say 5v5, but they don't say arena or blacktop. Okay? Now, PS3 and Xbox 360 only. These little parentheses right here, I think they've been throwing people off today alone because a lot of people have been saying, oh my God, crew's not coming to next gen. What the heck is going on? Oh, oh, okay. Let's do this. NBA 2K14 current gen features unveiled. They will not be talking anything about next gen until the time is near. Now, the reason why this says PS3 and Xbox 360 only is because they are also coming out with it on PC. Okay? They're coming out with the game on PC. Now, moving on. I hope you guys understand why these parentheses are here. They're not saying that it's only on PS3 and Xbox 360 and won't make it to the next gen. They're saying that it won't go on the PC version. God, come on, guys, think. Now, next up, EuroLeague. I went over that already. Dynamic Living Rosters powered by Stats Incorporated. I have to do my homework on these people, which I will. I'm going to do all my homework tomorrow while I'm at work. It's funny, homework, at work, it's funny, I'm a grown man. But, um, player attributes and tendencies automatically update daily to reflect true life hot and cold streaks. Okay, that's cool. So, I don't know what's happening with the 2K Insider. I don't know if his job is over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he got promoted. I don't know if he started the company. I don't know. I went over the King James soundtrack already. My team, back and better than ever with new player modes multi and single player tournaments and much more only on ps3 and xbox 360 so i'm sorry pc fans you're not going to be getting my team now i can go deeper into my team and you know try to you know get a couple thoughts in but no need key gameplay features the pro stick now i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the pro stick it's basically an entirely new shooting and dribbling system so, everything that you know about NBA 2K13, all the button configurations and all of that, forget it. Throw it out the window. I will be able to go deeper with you guys into detail next week about this. They still have the muzzle on me, so I can't give y'all the, the, the full button configuration. I got it all. I got, I got everything. Pictures, all that. I, I got it all. But the next thing, 2K Smart Button, I'm sorry, 2K Smart Play Button. Basically, this is a button that you hit on the controller, either in a fast break or half court set, and it will basically call the best play for that specific moment. No, you don't have to hit the D-pad, then hit run best play. It's just one button. I'll tell you more about it next week. Improve the player motion. Basically, let's put it like this. When you're running around, you know, screens and stuff like that, when people are, you know, coming in for blocks and all of that, you know, 
the the physics is so much better it's so much more fluid i will be able to get deeper into it next week but what i can say about that is all you guys out there that love jumping jumping for them blocks you might want to hold off on pressing y or triangle and also for all those guys that loved getting bumped hey maybe things are going to look up this year next thing depth of content basically this is what's going to make nba 2k14 better they have more than 3,000 new animations so when you think it's a canned animation or a botched animation or you just know what's gonna happen they have brand new animations in the game which are gonna stir things up i'll get into that more next week now general gameplay improvements signature skills they have six new signature skills i've seen all six but I have not seen the actual LeBron James signature skill. I was trying my hardest to find out that darn signature skill. But hey, I'll talk to you guys more about those six signature skills later on. Playbook and play system enhancements. Now, from what I've seen, me myself, I do not run that many plays. But I did see some great good plays, some high screen, some low screen. I seen a couple good plays that I like to run that worked perfectly and things were you know moving fluid but i am not a playbook guy i do not get deep into it i am not that type of os guy you're gonna have to talk to van wolfhawk about that and once he gets his hands on this game and he tries to execute these plays or find out what plays are going on hopefully it's to his liking and it'll get the stamp of approval now more signature styles, jump shots, dunks, layup packages, dribble moves, free throws, pre-game intros, get back, celebrations, all of that. Basically, all those 3,000 animations that they added in, you can expect some of those to get a little bit of love. So I can just say, I'm going to just say this. Expect layup packages from big athletic guys. It's, it's one big athletic guy at the power forward position that everybody knows that dunks on people all the time. Guess what? Layup package on him. That's, that's all I can say for right now. I'll get deeper into it next week. Now, offensive control improvements. Shot system upgrades. More realistic footwork for the jump shots. Improved awareness. The more variety on the shot types. The pro stick beautiful i cannot wait to get into the pro stick the new enhanced smart shot button is crazy listen i'm gonna just put it to you like this shooting is now the way it was intended to be all one motion that's that's all i can say all one motion now dribbling advancements you can you know, the dribbling it's so it's so fluid it's so crazy like i cannot wait to get deep into this this i'm telling y'all right here right now everything is so much easier but what makes it so crazy with all the confusion that 2k gave us for 2k 13 when we go back to the basics and learn the dribbling and shooting and all of that you guys are gonna be like why didn't they do this since the beginning so all i can say enhanced passing more accurate passing targets new give and go mechanics better handoffs and it new entire arsenal of flashy passes let's put it like this cp3 steve nash rondo all the great passers point guards in the league y'all are gonna love them trust me i did a lot of flashy passes oh man i was looking like the man out there no looks between the league i'm, t I'm telling you all but i'll get deeper into that next week with the button configuration and all i got all the information i'm just waiting for them to rip this muzzle off my face that's all i'm waiting for now the next thing defensive improvements learning defensive ai this is basically telling you that your teammates you yourself everything is going to adjust to the strategy of the game it's not just going to play out in one of those ways where oh, okay i'm going to run a pick and roll and it's going to work every time Nope, they're going to be switching things up. They're going to be sending guys, playing the passing lanes, calling the double teams. Things are looking pretty good. Now, blocked improvements. I already talked to you guys about the blocking system. You should already know what's going down with that. All new ball denial. Now, this is the thing that I like. You know, when you try to deny the person the ball, you put one hand to your chest and one hand out. Nah, it ain't like that no more. This time around, you actually try to get into guys' passing lanes get right up in their chest and say no mm -mm, not at all not at all even 
when people get stuck in that animation, like, say, you know, we bump chest while I'm dribbling the ball, yo, that steal button, if they don't patch it, it might be a good thing. Now, not necessarily for, you know, point guard against point guard, but like small forward against point guard or power forward against point guard, stuff like that, things are going to get very, very tricky for you guys. Now, enhanced dribbler versus on ball defender contact. Defenders now can initiate steals, hard bumps, charges, and defensive rods. Now, this is what I was talking about with all those new animations. Remember the little bump animation from 2K12 when y'all used to ride chest? It's like you was in quick saying you couldn't go nowhere. Well, this right here is what they're talking about. It's not that they bring the animation back. They just brought in more realism. Because usually when... when uh, also, offensive player run into a defensive player. What happens? They they get body contact. That defensive player tries to go for that steal, and guess what? The offensive player has the option to smack that hand away, or back up off that contact. Give him a little hesitation, move back a little bit. So I'm telling you, this whole new physics thing that they got going on, this this new motion and all of that is looking pretty good. I can tell you all about it next week. Now, expanded defensive commands. This right here is new commands from the right stick. You can contest shots, you can contest passes, and you can deny and pressure the ball all with the right stick. So everybody knows about, you know, right stick defense where you used to just put your hands up and then swirl and, you know, you'll be walking in quicksand. Let's just put it like this. Now you're more free. You know, you put your hand out. Nah, you know, don't, don't try to pass. Mm -mm, nah, on ball D, all of that. Everything with the right stick. Now, current gen. Returning features include my career, the association, the association online, training camp, season, playoffs, practice, NBA blacktop, my player blacktop, and team up. Now, what I need you guys to understand, I do not know if 2K forgot to put my team on that list, but... I'm guessing it's because they talked about my team at the top of the page as a highlight is why they didn't put it down here. Also, for the people that are my crew fans, they didn't put Cruz in this list because Cruz is not a returning feature from last year. They went two years without this feature. So this is something new. Basically, you might as well call it. That's why I call it Cruise. I'm not going to call it my crew. I'm not going to call it crew mode. I'm going to call it Cruise. Until I see 5v5 in an arena with custom jerseys, with a custom logo, with a custom team, custom abbreviation, custom name, I'm not going to call it my crew. So, that's the end of this video. NBA 2K14 current gen features unveiled. Remember, the reason why this says PS3 and Xbox 360 only is because they didn't add it to PC. This is only for current gen. You have to read between the lines, people. Read between the lines. They will not be talking about next gen until they actually get a date on when these next gen consoles are coming out. But this is IKC signing out. I hope you guys understand everything I said in this video. Don't forget to sign up for the text messaging when I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter at iPodKingCarter. Definitely follow the Facebook page, like it or whatever. This is where I do all my scheduling. Definitely hit me up on Instagram. I be fooling on Instagram. You already know how I do. And if you want to be a commentator, you want to know who made my intros, my logos, you want to know my gaming setup, my gaming accounts, everything I record with, you want to go to my Tumblr fact page and check it out. But this is our KC signing out. You guys have a nice day. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.